just want to get a few patterns. We're trying to figure out where we want to go eat. We are in Tennessee and it's somewhere between Chinese food and pizza. It has been so cold here. Like it's in the 30s today, but it's supposed to get up to 40s. And after we had our pasta last night, we went to the Cupcake Connection or Collection, something like that. And the cupcakes were really good. And now I'm on my way to Joanne Fabrics. They are having a sale on Macaws patterns. I feel like it's been a while since I've, you know, gone through the pattern book. So I just want to look and browse and just kill some time and see what they have. So hopefully I'll find some cute patterns and I'll share them with you. Okay, I am here. It is so empty. Like where is everybody? Here's a couple cars here, but I might be the only one in the store. Let's go see. I just want to get a few patterns and I don't want to get too much because I can't take it back home on the airplane with me, you know, because my luggage is already kind of kind of full. So I think patterns is going to be all that I get. So let me find them. Each show is set up a little differently. So I just have to find the right spot where the patterns are. Bingo! Okay, let me just grab a seat and start looking around. all the patterns that I want. Now I'm calling my husband to see if he's outside. Oop, I dialed the wrong number. How did that happen? Hey, I'm done. Well, I need to check out, but are you outside? Okay. Okay, I'll be there when I check out. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, he's outside, so I just need to check out and show you what I picked up. I picked up McCall's 8344. I like this view here, which is C. I think that this would be cute with maybe some high-waisted pants. And this is for knit fabrics. Next is McCall's 7786. This is an older pattern. I actually have made this view before. I don't have the pattern anymore, so I decided to pick this up because I may want to make another pair of these pants. I think they're really cute. Next is, what is this? McCall's 8343. I think that this will be cute in Sherpa. I like this view right here with the collar. So yeah, I can definitely see myself making that one. And then McCall's 8003. I saw some pictures on Pinterest of a top similar to this. And I was curious to see how this actually comes together. So that's why I picked this one up. So these are the four patterns that I picked up today. And I'm going to add these to my pattern collection when I get back home. This is the fabric that I plan to use for my next project, which is going to be a cropped 
sweatshirt and I want to use this quick sew pattern and I want to make this view right here and I want to incorporate these two fabrics this is a piece of scrap and this is actually like a couple yards here and then I also bought this just to go around the neckline this area right here I was trying to figure out how to incorporate this brown into the top and so I figured one way that I could do it is I can have the brown go vertically or I can do it in a diagonal way and then place the brown in this area here. And of the two looks, I think I'm going to go with this one. I really like the way that looks there and then have a green neckband with this piece here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the pattern and I'll show you how I do that. This is the front piece and it was supposed to be cut on the fold. What I did instead was I traced it out. I traced it this way and then I flipped the paper over and I traced it again this way and then I cut everything out. I actually ended up cutting this one once and then this one separate and then I taped it down the middle. But I could have just drawn around the whole thing and then had one solid piece. But I still ended up with one solid piece in the end and that is what I have here. So the next thing that I wanna do is draw my line from the shoulder down to the side and I'm just gonna kinda, I don't know, cause I can make it go up here or I can come down a little bit. So I'll just guess maybe about there is pretty good. Let me make sure everything is pretty straight. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw my line from here to the side seam or slip to the side edge. And then I'm going to cut this apart. So now that I have this piece and this piece, I am going to add my seam allowance to this cut edge. So I'll increase this by 5 eighths of an inch and then I'll do the same thing on this edge here. Increase it by 5 eighths of an inch and then I will use the brown fabric to cut out this area here and then I'll use the green Sherpa for this area right here. So I added the 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance to each cut edge and then I also noted the grain line area here and then I went back and I just kind of lined up the areas and I noticed that this area is a little short I don't know how that happened but in order for this to meet up it should be like this so I'm just gonna have to go in and add some paper here so that I can extend this area and have everything meet up what I did was I just ripped off a piece of paper and I taped it to the finished edge that I had here originally. And then I took the pattern piece, the front pattern piece, and placed it on top here and then traced around it. And that's this line that you see here. And then I will go ahead and cut that out and then that way the front will be nice and even. And I also made sure that this side over here was matching up evenly. I am almost finished. This is how everything is looking so far. I have gathers here and then I did end up borrowing from another pattern. I took the cuffs from this pattern here which is McCall 7816 and I just used the cuffs here because this pattern that I'm using, this vintage pattern, did not have cuffs on the ends of the sleeves. It was just plain and I have to put this band around the bottom and then I will be all done.